Hello guys and welcome back to another session with Rez. Currently we're gonna start talking about layouts and every so often from now on we're gonna talk specifically for each of these components that we see here of layouts. Um, starting with probably I don't know uh, relative layout going to linear and then going to frame and grid and etc and understanding why you should use one or the other and how to really utilize it to make it the best of what it is. But before we get into all of these, because I'm going to make one episode for each, I want you guys to know about layout params. So each layout, well, all of these basically have these parameters, which kind of tells you how, it kind of says how your children or what you hold is going to be organized or used or etc. So all of these are going to be starting with a layout type of variable. All right, so we're going to come back to, and, uh, to the XML version and we're going to talk about more of this, obviously, as we go on. But notice that these are attributes and all the attributes start with Android, colon, and the one that belongs to layouts are going to be layouts underscore something. So if we go into our first children here, image button, we want to kind of modify this object. We want to kind of modify its attributes, right? So we have a bunch of stuff that's given to us, which is one layout width that's within this, uh, which is kind of taking whatever linear layout has. And we also have layout margin. We also have uh, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, I don't know, from gravity to anything that would start with the layout. Okay. So if you don't really know what's there, we could just start typing it Android layout and we kind of see the IntelliSense showing us everything that should be or could belong into that current object right so for the image button from being a part of the linear layout it gets a few things such as gravity margin margin and margin left so for so on and if you want more information just put your mouse over it I'm pretty sure the IntelliSense should give you information or not that's interesting Anyway, <laughs> depending on what IntelliSense you usually have, usually you get some information because I'm guessing here, because I'm guessing it's XML where it doesn't really have an idea of what's what until it kind of parses it. They didn't build an IntelliSense that tells you, hey, this is this, this is that, like you usually would do when you put your mouse over an object and it tells you kind of information about it. Anyway. So to give you guys an example of what would happen to image button within the linear layout if we mess with one of these layouts, right? With these layout uh, parameters. So if we kind of look here, we have layout width, which is match parent, right? And if we notice the parent, the parent kind of takes the whole screen if you look at the blue part. So the button is actually taking the whole width of the parent plus there's like a little margin. So how about we play around with it? Um, so let's not touch the margin, but you know what? The width, we see it's too big. We kind of want to change that to probably 50 densel pixity. Right? And now it's shrank, if you noticed. It's not taking the whole width as it should have. Okay, so these are some cool stuff. Obviously, we'll get back here and uh, we'll talk about match parent wrap content as we move on here and there. But currently, I just want to say out the foundation which is this layout these within every children it basically says hey this is how I'm gonna be grouped up in my linear layout and over here the same case goes alright thanks guys see you soon in the next linear well the next layout information and please subscribe <laughs>